Welcome to Variant Wizard. Today, we'll show you how to transform your product page from this to this. So let's get started. Once you finish installing the app in your theme, you'll be taken to the home page. Here, what you want to do is to click on Edit Product Variants. And this is the main page where you can search for products and see them listed. And beside each product, you can add multiple images per variant by clicking here or customize the product options of this particular product by clicking here. And what I want to do is to customize all my product options at once. So in order to do that, I'm going all the way to the top and selecting all products, followed by bulk edit product options. And I get to see all my product options, color, size, and material. And please note, they're shown as buttons, and this is expected because it's the default. And starting with color, I'm clicking on edit. This is where you can select between buttons, drop downs, or swatches, and the preview is always shown at the bottom. And for color, I actually want to show it as a swatch, so I'm just going to change the swatch type. I'm making it a bit bigger. And in terms of out of stock settings, I wanted to show as a cross out. So for me to see how it looks like, I just have to click here. There you go. And now to border settings. What I want to do here is just to increase the border thickness a bit and change the color. And now to option values. This is where you can customize your colors all individually and I'm going to start with Green Leopard. I'm just going to click on edit. And for this one, I actually want to show an image. So I'm just going to click on add image and I'm going to zoom in. I could also rotate or mirror, but I'm happy with the way it is. I'm just going to click upload. and save. Next color. For this one, I actually want a specific color. So on background color, I'm just going to click here and write down the hex code of the color that I want. And save. Next. For this watch, I want to show three different colors. So on background type, I'm selecting this and I'm clicking here and writing the hex code of the colors that I want. And voila, just click on save. Now I'm going to finish customizing all the color swatches and I'll show you the results. I just finished them, as you can see, and I'm going to scroll up to border settings. And I'm going to select double border so that it looks like this. And one last thing is I actually want to increase the swatch size a bit. And now I'm going to click save. And I'm going to customize size and material and I'll show you the result. And now that I finished, I'm just clicking next. And here you can actually click on the product to see how the swatches and buttons look like. Now I'm just going to click apply. Yes. And finish. Now that I finished customizing all my product options at once, I actually want to go a bit more in depth with my poncho cape. So I'm just going to find the poncho cape and click on the product options button. And you're familiar with this page, I'm just going to click on edit. The first thing I want to do here is to actually add tooltips so that when the customer hovers over my color swatches, they get to see the color names. So for me to do that, I'm just scrolling down 
to the option values and I'll start with the green leopard. I'm just going to click on tooltip and then I'm going to click on this edit button and on the three dots and I'm selecting insert name and I get to see the tooltip but I actually want to change the font and the background color there you go and instead of doing this procedure for every single swatch what I can do is to click on bulk edit and then it's going to ask you which of these settings you would like to copy to the other swatches. And I'm selecting all. Next. And it's asking which of the swatches here um, I would like to copy those settings to. And I'm selecting all again. And apply. And voila. All tooltips are here. And now I want to let customers know that my yellow mustard color is new. So I'm going to scroll down to the yellow mustard and I'm going to click on alert. And here I'm going to write new. And now I'm going to make a few edits. And voila, just clicking on save. Now I want to edit the color title settings. So I'm scrolling all the way up onto the title settings. I'm just going to click here. This is where you can change the title color, make it bigger and so on. But what I really want to do is actually to click here so that I don't get to see the color title anymore. And now that I finished customizing my color swatches, I'm just going to click save. And I'm going to remove the size title. And to finalize, I want to increase the spacing between the swatches and the buttons. And to do that, I'm just going to click on the three dots and increase the spacing. And now that this is complete, I'm going back to the main page. The next thing I want to do is to add multiple images per variant. So I'm just going to find the poncho cape and I'm going to click on the variant images button. Then continue. And here it asks you about imports. And what this means is that if you have added an image to each variant on your Shopify product page, now it's the time to import them. So I'm just going to click yes. There you go. They're all here. And what I'm going to do next is click here so that it collapses and it makes it easier for me to see which of these variants I already have multiple images assigned to them. Now I'm going to start with the green leopard and I have three different sizes, small, medium and large and I want to do the three of them at once. So what I'm going to do is to find the green leopard color at the top, click on it and click on bulk edit. And then I click on add media. And since I already have this image assigned to my green leopard color, I'm only selecting these other two images. And done. Just changing the order. And since I already have this image assigned to the green leopard color, I don't want to replace it. Instead, I'm selecting append. This means that these two images, they will be added to the end of the selected variants. And then I click on confirm. Voila, they're all here. You can repeat this procedure to add multiple images to all your variants and that's what I'm going to do now. And once I'm done, I'm going to show you the results. I just finished adding them, as you can see. And to finalize, I actually want to add one image to every single variant. So for me to do that, I'm just going all the way to the top and clicking on all followed by bulk edit, add media, and I'm selecting the image that I want, done, confirm. And voila, that image is shown as the very last one. And now that I finished adding multiple images per variant, I'm going back to the main page. 
and I want to show you an alternative way to add multiple images per variant and customize the product options for a particular product. And it's very, very simple. All you have to do is to click on the product. Voila! This page also allows you to add multiple images per variant by clicking here and to customize your product options by clicking here and here. And of course, you can preview them. And now let's click on preview and see how the product page looks like. Voila! I get to see my swatches, my tooltips and my alert. As you can see, my thumbnails are shown at the bottom and the zoom type is lightbox. Just remember, you can change your gallery settings at any time, so let me quickly show you how to do it. I just came back to the page before I clicked on preview and from here I'm clicking on variant wizard. Every time you do this, it takes you to the home page and from here I'm selecting preferences, followed by app settings. And this is where you select your theme, in my case it's Debut. And then you get to see your gallery settings for desktop and for mobile. And since I actually want to make a few changes to my desktop gallery, I'm going to start with zoom type. So currently I have Lightbox selected, but I actually want to change it to Magnify so that my zoom type looks like this. And in terms of layout, currently my thumbnails are shown at the bottom, but I want to change it to the left. There you go. And for thumbnail navigation, I can select between none and carousel, and I'm just selecting none. And I'm not making any changes to my mobile settings. And I'm going to click on save. And now I'm going back to the product page refresh the page and see how it looks like. And voila! Now the thumbnails are shown on the left and the zoom type changed. Now I'll show you how to connect different products as swatches. So the first thing I want to do is to click on group products as swatches. Followed by create your first product group. Here, I'm just going to insert the group name and the product option name. I want them to be shown above everything else, so what I'm going to do is to just keep above selected and then I'm selecting the products I want to add to this group. Followed by save. And now that my group is created, I'm going to customize the swatches. And I'm clicking save. If you want to edit anything about the group, such as the group name or the product option name or even to remove products from the group, simply click here. And if you want to delete this group, click here. And now that I've done everything that I wanted to, let's go to my product page and see how it looks like. Voila! Now my three products are connected through swatches.